Hey Fantastic You, welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, welcome, glad to have you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so we can be friends. Today we are going to make fancy vases and candle holders from items picked up at your local dollar store. So what you will need is candle holders or vases, whatever you can find. And you wanna get two, you wanna get a bottom and a top. So you can do the half uh, fishbowl circle one or the cell in the cylinder or the two square ones I have here. And then these ones are the same as the first. They're just a bit smaller. Now I will admit these two here are from Michael's. I have seen the same sizes at my local dollar store. They just didn't happen to have any. I went and checked the second one. They didn't have them either, but you should be able to find them. So we're gonna need some paint. I'm gonna go with Deco Art Extreme Sheen. You're gonna need some ribbon or something to hide the seam between your two pieces. It could be some sticky jewels. That's what that is. You're gonna want some fake flowers. Again, I picked this up at my local dollar store or a floating candle. And then you're also gonna to wanna to pick up some of these lights. So these are push lights, puck lights. There's a few different names. This is one that you would normally put in the closet. I found this one at my local dollar store. This one changes colors. So depending on the colors we put on the vase, will depend on the colors we pick. And then I'm also gonna try one with some fairy lights just to see if they are bright enough for you. So let's get started. Okay, step one, you're gonna remove all the labels from your glass vases, candle holders and use some Windex or some rubbing alcohol and clean the glass surfaces. Once you pick out your paint, we're gonna start painting them and we're only painting the outside walls. We're not painting the bottom. Now I've added double-sided foam tape to the bottom of mine just to raise them up off my parchment paper here. I'm just using the parchment paper as my newspaper. So I'm gonna use a foam brush. If you don't wanna use a craft paint, you can always go with the spray paint. Lovely colors in spray paint. So you'll just wanna spray in a well-ventilated area, usually outside or in a garage works best. Okay, our paint is all dry. So I've got about four coats of paint on the outside. Put as many coats as you need. If you're finding that the light is still coming through, you might wanna consider putting a couple coats of white, specifically titanium white acrylic paint on the inside. Titanium white is an opaque acrylic paint. So it reflects light it, more than it lets light come through. So that will stop the light from coming through and showing your brush strokes and stuff on the outside. But I think the colors turned out fantastic. So our next step is to attach, because this is the base, to attach the top of the vase. So we're gonna use both E6000, this is an industrial strength adhesive, and we're gonna use hot glue. Hot glue is just to bind it together quicker, because this takes anywhere from 24 to 72 hours to cure. So easy to use. Be careful with this. It's, again, like crazy glue, so you don't wanna get any on yourself. And we're just gonna put it, it's already wanting to come out. Just around the outside. Cause we don't want it oozing out. And these surfaces are not 100% flat. They've got a bit of a curve to them. So that's why you wanna do the outside first. And then we're gonna do hot glue in the center. Take your top. Line it up. You want it centered best you can, and you'll be able to see the glue getting squished in between. So you only have a few seconds before your hot glue starts to set. 
but it's as easy as that. And then we're gonna let them cure for a little bit before we go on to the next step. Okay, next step, we are going to take some ribbon or some jewels, whatever you have to kind of cover where the two vases meet together. So this thicker ribbon here is a little stiff, so I'm not gonna attempt to make a bow out of it, but we are gonna glue this down. I'm gonna use hot glue. I'm just gonna do a little on the inside. Then we'll glue the back. I'm not using a lot of glue. You don't need too, too much. If you use too much, you'll also get a bit of a bump. So there, now we've disguised the seam on that one. I'll get the other two done and then we'll add our flowers. Okay, here are our three vases done. You can see I did jewels on the one on the left, the ribbon we did together, and then on this one here, just did a simple bow, very simple bow. <laughs> Thought this ribbon that I got at the dollar store was super cute. But next we're going to do the final things. So we're gonna need our dollar store little push lights, something to fill it up. So I'm gonna use a gold crushed glass. I think it will go really nice. And then we got some flowers. So first things first, we're going to add some of the crushed glass. That should be good there. Turn your puck on and put it underneath. I did trim the bottom of these flowers. They were a little too long. Let's get that jammed in there. is the small one done. Hopefully that's all being picked up on the camera. I'm gonna get the other two done and then we'll look at them all completed with the lights in them. But so far, I think that looks pretty good. So here is all three of them completed. I think they have turned out gorgeous. I'm very, very happy with them. So we've got two vases and one candle holder. So the one on the left is the candle holder and that is just a floating candle I found at my local dollar store. And all the pieces to make that, other than the paint, is from the dollar store. Same with this vase here, other than the paint and the crushed glass on the inside. This is all from the dollar store. And then for the middle one, we have the ribbon and the flowers are from the dollar store. And the filler balls and the two glass pieces are from Michael's. But as I said before, I have seen this size vases and round vases at my local dollar store just none were in stock so hopefully you enjoyed the video i really enjoyed making this one i want to thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch i really appreciate it and i appreciate you until next time <laughs>